California, the land of milk and honey, of good grapes and good wine. I'm honored to be here with you all today to share in this celebration. And when I take stock of it, I'm grateful and not for the honey or the wine. After so many miles of travel and so many months, we have arrived here and together. So before we begin, let us take it in. Rhea, Sean, around them, our friends, family, and the people we love the most. Some place we've never been. Some place we are lucky to be. It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. I love you. With every cell in my body and every ounce of my soul, you are my truest friend. Wherever you are is where I belong, and I promise that every moment together, I will make absolutely sure that you feel that from me for the rest of this life and in the next. I love you. So I'm gonna tell a piece of our story that I haven't told anyone, including you. In Q4 of 2010, you upgraded from a dumb phone to an iPhone. <laughs> Soon after, we first kissed on New Year's Eve of that year, and then you lost your iPhone. When we parted, I felt so bad for you. So I actually went to the Apple store, bought a new iPhone, told you that I found your lost iPhone, and gave it to you. <laughs> Even telling this story now, almost 11 years later, I still think I'm an idiot. <laughs> Rhea, Sean, you have joined yourselves with the power of your words and the strength of your conviction. Your love, and your commitment has been witnessed by the friends and family who have raised you, the ones who know you best. By the power vested in me and this community, it is with great pride that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Today, we officially welcome Sean to our family. May you go both grow old together until your hair turns white with old age. I love you both very much, and I'm very happy for you and wish you nothing but the best. Raise your glass one last time and toast to the happiness, health, and prosperity of Sean, Rhea, and the you and Call families. Cheers. <laughs> 